Hey, my name is Emmanuel Chinatoka, and you can call me Nuo for short, or Nuo Geek. I just wrapped up my Intensive Arsenal Workflow Specialist Certification. As part of my capstone project, I designed workflow for Phoenix Airline, focusing on product launches, product request optimization management, and rolling out workflows with a socialization strategy for the team. In this video, I'll walk you through exactly how I structured these workflows, why they matter, and how they can help optimize efficiently your operations in the real world teams. Let's get into this. Like I mentioned, we'll be going through three projects, um, three projects in this capstone. The first will be for product launch, and the second will be automating a project, a project request flow, and the last will be deploying a workflow with a socialization strategy. So, building a workflow for the Phoenix airline, what problem are we trying to solve? What is the goal of Phoenix and Phoenix airline goal for 2025 year is to become the number one rated airline by improving and prioritizing customer experience. And this means launching new products like biometric boarding and security projects and lots more. So we'll be picking up one project we'll be working on and I'll be showing you how I structured this as a workflow specialist. First, Phoenix Airline has provided me with a, a sheet that contains the project they want to launch, a biometric boarding and security project, which contains information details about the project, when it should be kicked off and who should handle what. And every single information about this is still on the manual level, which means it's still managed on the Excel sheet, which is not an efficient uh, method or process of managing projects. First, everything contained on this Excel sheet is about the project Phoenix Airline want to launch towards their goals. So I'll be taking you through how I designed uh, this. As you can see, I've mapped out the goal of Phoenix Airline on my workspace and I connected every single project that relates and contributes with this. And from this place, they can literally see if we are meeting up to the goal for the project or not. Getting into my portfolio and I'll be opening up my Phoenix Airline portfolio. For Phoenix Airline, I've gone ahead to use a list view which suits this type of workflow as this workflow is a time bound project. So that means we have a date whereby we want to design this product and launch it within that time frame. So I have designed a time bound workflow that suits this particular project which is the reason we are making this of list and we've divided this into sections like week one to two, three to four and five to six, which contains every single project. For every single project that has a subtask, you can find that by opening the project, you get to see every single subtask that is inside there. We also have milestones with every icon that has this diamond shape, that's a milestone, meaning if we achieve a milestone, therefore we have um, reached an important level in our project. And if you can see the one that has the um, time icon on it, this particular work um, task means that item three depends on item two and item four depends also on item two, item eight depends on item seven. So this is very important. For you to take note, every diamond shape here is represents a milestone. The timestamp represents a dependency for a particular task to be completed. And you can look at how these tasks are connected to one another by looking at the timeline and seeing which influences which. As you can see, item three and item four is influenced 
or blocked by item 2 and you can see every single milestone we want to achieve if you also you can also view these on a gantt format to be able to see how these different tags connect to each other we've also made a couple of custom fields here that contains the stage for each tax we can choose if this tax is in, in preparation or it has been implemented we can also choose whether the tax is in progress and has been completed so we have a couple of customization here and then we can go on to assign these tax to any of the teammates to kick this off that is how we've taken a manual worksheet into a workflow to allow phoenix airline launch their products next we'll be talking about the project request process this is one of my favorite because in this project request we'll be automating how projects are being received at phoenix airline and how they are being assigned to different teams first we start by making research on what it takes to verify or approve a request and we've made that that particular research and we've um, brought that different information we need number one the ob objective of, of that particular uh, project request we need an estimated budget we need to be able to see what area do we want to improve and secondly we need to look at what team should be working on this the operation or engineering or technology team and then we attach a document to support the data and then we go on to verify and approve that particular project or we reject it the next thing i did was to design a data a data map that shows how this particular uh that shows how this particular process goes through from the beginning to the end and you can see from the beginning we have the team submit a project new request it's assigned to the pro project management office and it re it's being reviewed if that particular project aligns with the company goals it's moved to the next step else it's rejected and information is provided to the project submitter after we've moved it to the next step we figure out if we have an available project management to pick up that particular pro project if we do have a project manager available the project is approved and the project is kicked off just like we kicked off the biometric onboarding and security project else if that particular project is not approved it is rejected and reasons are provided to the approvers that is the design for this particular workflow and we will be automating this getting on on my project request workflow i have selected the board view as the default view for my request and this board view contains different stages from new request to the stage of assignment to that particular project request being in the review to sourcing for approval and availability for project managers and the last phase which is this project has been completed it's either approved or rejected so now what makes this particular project request workflow interesting is that we've gone ahead to automate this particular process and in this automation we've designed both a form that allows us receive requests from team members of phoenix airline so we go on to look at what they are requesting and based on what they feel we will be automating that particular process which the first process here says we should assign this particular request to the project management office just like we stated in our mind map design and next once that is approved we also check for another condition and figure out if this particular project size is a small one or this is a big or a large project that determines the next that's the trigger for the next step and once we've done that we move that particular that particular project request to the next section where we figure out whether that project aligns with the company's goal or yes and if it does not align with the company goals 
this particular uh, condition will be met and these results will be published. Otherwise, if it aligns with the company goals, we would be moving it to the next phase. At the next phase, we figure out it's the project request is reviewed and we look for available project managers. And if we can find one, this project is automatically approved, else this project will be rejected. So this makes the approval of a project request to be easier. And we spend um, a very small amount of time reviewing projects. We don't have to manually do every single thing. That is the reason we have this particular uh, automation for this workflow back to the board so we'll go on to test out our workflow and see how that works out first we'll be providing our name as a manual and we'll be providing an email address and we'll be saying we want the air conditioning of the air lines to be improved improved for uh, 20 fleets of seven to seven bowl Next, estimated budget. Let's say this will cost about $20 million. And improvement will be majorly between technology team or less operations team or technology team rather. Or let's say engineering. Engineering will be the best fit. Majorly the mechanical engineering team and the date for the delivery would be by june 30th great we would go on to attach a file for this particular to support our data and next we are going to see what will happen so i'll be submitting this and quickly head back here so you see that that particular process has been uh, automated and it has been assigned to me i didn't have to click any single thing for this to happen next I would be figuring out the project size. So this is to be a large one. And once we do this, automation also happens. The project is in review. And what do we do in review? We figure out whether this project aligns with um, the goal that the company, the Phoenix Airline has set for themselves. So we are going to choose, yes, this aligns with us. And If we choose that we have an available project manager to pick on on this particular project, what happens next? This project is moved to the completed phase and therefore we have this approved and the team can kick this off as they did with the biometrics body and security project. That is uh, how we have automated the processes of approving project request for Phoenix airline. And we've also designed a method for them to manage and launch projects for biometric boarding and security uh, projects. And I, we've had all these from the manual methods, all these from, um, just the idea to a structured automation workflow at the end of the day. And for the third part of this um, capstone project would be deploying the workflow and coming up with it, with it a, social, a socialization strategy. Why is this very important? People would work on this project. The team are a core part of every company, of every goal that needs to be achieved. If they don't understand how the workflow works and how to use the tools that has been designed to achieve their goal they won't function together we wouldn't have a smooth relationship from each end therefore it's important to design that particular socialization strategy for the phoenix airline and we would be getting into that the socialization strategy i've come up with are divided into these different stages from communication approach to training plan conventions and resources and the first would be for me to identify my pilot testers and i would want to reach out to the team who do who will who will help me test out the workflows i've designed find any loopholes or any misrepresentation 
of the of the process of doing a particular thing and that will be fixed and i'll be sharing my what and why with the team through their uh, through the slack or through the email and i will be sharing what the team what did what the team should expect and how the workflow would be improving work activity especially uh, expectations and pre-launching this contains every particular communication approach and also pre-launch announcement and then we hit our milestones then next we would be getting into the series that shares how to um, get started with asana system and also we would be sharing how to achieve a particular goal as a team member as a team leader as an it admin we designed different um training plan for the different uh teams and we also have a q and a section and next we will be putting down some uh, semantics on how to manage tax or processes on on the workflow design ranging from what to create and when to create it assigning tax and what naming convention are important or we should stick to due dates and also the onboarding strategy for team new uh, for new team members these are the three phases for our project and this makes up the three important parts for the capstone project that i have designed for the phoenix airline i hope you enjoyed this do subscribe to my youtube channel and do follow me for more projects see you in the next one